Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Minecraft. Well, we are about to uh, prank a person. And uh, I think it's pretty incredible. I'm not usually taken for a uh, prankster sort of person, but... Uh, that's because I am super sneaky most of the time. And yeah, um, so Smish actually commented on one of my videos a while back, quite a while back. And to be completely honest, this, uh, this prank is, um, yeah, definitely behind the times. I should have done this ages ago. Uh, whenever I was making the uh, cow farm over here behind me, uh, Smish commented on the video, and she said she thought that I was going to make the entire cow machine into a replica cow. I said, uh, yeah, I mined up enough terracotta to do something like that, blah blah blah, and she said, no, I require the monument of Moo Cow. Her words. So... Lo and behold, we are going to deliver to her the monument of Moo Cow. And so that is the uh, prank that I have planned. And uh, yeah, we're going to get on to it. Uh, unfortunately, I do need some more uh, blocks. It seems that we need about 58 black blocks, uh, which I intend on using uh, coal for that so that it's an actual resource block that she can get some use out of. Uh, light gray, it says that we need 310 of those. 310, we might make some light gray concrete. Four stacks of light gray concrete, something like that. Uh, but yeah, to get uh, Donkey over to uh, Smish's place, I feel like the safest way is to get the nether portal constructed and completed so that I have a clear path over to there. So I think one of the first things that I need to do is to um, enchant this iron pick. Hopefully we can find some unbreaking. Yeah. Efficiency, unbreaking, and silk touch I don't care about. But uh, the unbreaking will be nice. And we will dig a uh, path through the nether uh, to Smish's place. Alright, we are in luck. Uh, it actually took a lot less digging than I thought that it would. And so uh, we haven't even used up this uh, first pick charge. I figure that we probably have to have this three blocks high though in order to avoid taking damage while we're uh, riding the donkey through the tunnel. So I am going to have to uh, dig out another layer uh, entirely of this entire tunnel. So that will take a little bit of time, but uh, I will be back whenever we are on our way to Smish's place. So we don't trample the crops by running through them, and we don't have to jump over the fence if we double gate it. What are you doing here? And why? Be dead. Alright. Let's go. Transport me hence, ye portal. Hello? No? Yes. Okay. Why can't I get up? I asked her. 
Okay. Give me this block. I can't access my inventory right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Believe it or not, we are getting there slowly but surely. Uh, the blocks are being kicked away and all that. I still can't access my inventory. I'm sure I have enough room for this block to be absorbed, but for some reason it doesn't want to. And aside from that, I mean, we're surrounded by a lake of lava, so every time I lose connection I'm worried that I've walked into uh, lava and that I and my donkey alike oof, will perish. None of this is anything that I want to happen. Oof. Come on now. Okay. No. Let me go upstairs, please. Oh. And this isn't going to work anyway because, um... The staircase up here is going to require me to dig. How did I lose a lead over here? I don't know. Hopefully I pick it up. Uh, but I will need to make another iron pick in order to get out of here. So we will have to go back to base. I'm not sure why my uh, base portal isn't linking up with the portal that I built. Which it should do. Uh, it should not be connecting up with this one anymore because the other portal is accurate to my coordinates. Yeah, and now we're in the wrong place. Gross. Alright, so we have to go back. No, doggy, Don't go that way. Donkey is dead. Donkey has died, and that's the only explanation for why all of the blocks are scattered out like this. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, oh found, found a donkey. Found a donkey. Okay. okay, I don't have I a don't saddle for a lead. Hilariously. Hilariously. Uh, but at uh, least but I, at I know where it is now. Are you all my personal dreams? I found the donkey, so uh, my series is over. Uh, that's all I ever needed. Are you donkey! Yes! Donkey bass is afraid of the bubbles. I can mute! Oh, there you go. He's not a very good donkey. He's pretty slow and uh, only has nine health.
and um, that'll just have to come later. Right now, my pockets are full, my donkey's pockets are full, um, and I can't, I can't go anywhere with him uh, that other people are because it's going to be across water and stuff. Uh, he just can't make it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to get started building a base. Let's do a support test. Yes, yes. if I add if I stairs add later on, uh, I'll take out another chunk of bricks and stuff. But for right now, he's safe and sound down here. My question is, how the heck did Donkey even walk into a solid block to be suffocated? Because I know he got suffocated inside the obsidian. I saw him walking into there when I had the lead on to him when I was trying to lead him over there. How the heck did he walk into a solid block and get suffocated? Even with lag. That shouldn't have been physically possible. I just want to pick up this chest so I can set it down and store all of this terracotta. Because, dang it. I need to find a way to bring another donkey around or a mule or something like that to pick up all this stuff so that I can... Man. Alright, well, at least it's allowing me to uh, drop the items into the chest this time. That's somewhat of an improvement. I guess most of the other items are lost inside the portal. This is the next day by the way. I couldn't stand it anymore and so I had to uh, quit what I was doing. Yeah. Inventory is full of brown terracotta again. That's wonderful actually. I'm not going to complain about that at all. In fact I'm quite happy. Come on. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That would be 17, 20. One of white terracotta. That seems right. Let me check the uh, parts list real quickly. Yeah, so I still need the 52 black and the 310 light gray. I think I was thinking about making light gray at... Uh, the place where I'm making the actual statue, but we will see how that goes. Uh, I I think as far as the black goes, I am going to try to make 52 blocks of uh, coal. I either have to find a donkey or a mule. Uh, I might find a donkey and a horse with great health and then breed them together to make a mule. I'm not sure. As far as this is concerned, I guess I'll, uh, when I come back with a pick, I'll try to open this up so that a, uh, horse can get through here, or a mule, or whatever. Alright, let's take a look and see, uh, if I can get a, uh, two-star enchant on here that's worth anything. Efficiency, two. Let's take it. It's just efficiency, two. That's alright, then. Uh, we'll deal with it. Uh, but yeah, now I have to go find a donkey or a, uh, a mule. Yeah, uh, here are horses, which is one thing. If I can find one with a really great health, it's 11, then, uh, we can breed the, uh, donkey with the horse. That's 13, that's pretty good. Oh. Was that 14? 13. Okay. So I'll uh, tame this one and the other one with 13. I think they stick around no matter what. Okay. So they're tame. And we'll go tame this guy over here. It's a solid gray. I like this one a lot, actually. We're all okay here. There we go. Alright. So let's see uh, who is the fastest amongst them. Yeah, 
It's not bad. Now, the other one is definitely faster. So the plain gray... I don't know if it's faster, but they're at least the same, same speed. Alright, so option number two is that I couldn't find the uh, donkey at all. And it turns out that Smish says that she might have taken the 13 health donkey uh, from spawn. And so, if we take this horse over to Smish's place, breed with that donkey, we might come out with a 13 health mule. Uh, who can carry a chest and uh, help us out with this prank that we're actually trying to uh, carry out uh, for Smish. For. Not against. For. Okay, so the weirdness now is going to be the uh, nether and how it responds to us. So let's try this again. Horse is here, no problems. Everything's fine. Oh, that's my bad. Okay. Oh no! No, no, no. Oh, I'm dead. And I've lost everything. Great. Beautiful. Oh, I love this game. Oh, and my home bed was missing or obstructed. That's fine. We'll find our way back. Wow. 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 Man. That's what happens. Don't prank your friends, folks. Wow. I can't believe that I, uh... Uh, fell in the lava there. That was terrible. It was absolutely, uh, the worst thing that could ever happen at that particular time. But lo and behold, it did happen to me, of course. So, here we go again. Let's make sure that we just can't do that by accident anymore. Oh no, are you freaking kidding me right now? How the heck are there this many... ...thing... ...openings to the abyss? Ah, oh. You're freaking kidding me right now. Sorry folks, man, I am the worst at this game. Come on. Come at me, bro. dead. Ah, there it is. Magma slime. I was also reminded that uh, you can make magma slimes by um, or magma cream, I mean, with a uh, slime block and uh, blaze rods. So I can have all kinds of fire resistance potions, which I probably ought to dang well be using because I keep dying to the dang lava. Yeah, the other thing that I totally forgot about was the, uh, carrots. Alright. Alright, we're doing nether wart. We're gonna have some redstone, also. Because this is stupid. I'm gonna have some fire resist potion if I fall into the lava again. Uh, I'll be able to swim out, platform myself up to where I need to be, and survive. Because this is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm sick and tired of it. Redstone to make it longer. It'll be the eight-minute uh, fire resistance. This one. Oh, how do I make a crossbow? That's something I would really like to know about. Uh, a crossbow. Craw... Spoo. You would think I was smart enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to have the thing. Alright. Fine. Good. 
Uh, I'll put the tripwire hook in there. And then these nuggets. Okay. And I have the one fire resistance potions, the four carrots, a ten leads. I hate my life. Oh, I don't even have any arrows uh, to load into those. But anyway, we're on the horse. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Keep running, please. Thank you. Nope. Don't die. I know you were on fire for a second, but... Go on out. Okay. Okay, finally. We are at the top. Hello? Can I not, uh... I have to jump? I don't understand why that's hurting me. Yeah. Fall down. Who cares? Oh, man. We're going through. Holy cow. What an absolute trial. I never for even a, a moment suspected that it would cost me this much or that it would take this amount of time. But at the same time, absolutely do not believe that this removes any of the excitement for me. Oh, I don't even have a bed. No, don't die. You idiot. Do not die. Oh, freaking go crazy. Alright. She's this way, though. We'll come over here to her uh, sanctuary and take a nap. Get inside. Wonderful. Uh... Yeah, it's a door. Okay. All these folk ought to be dying. I don't even have a shield, but I tried to uh, block. Right then. Wow. I don't have any arrows either, so I can't attack these creepers. Stay away from me. Uh, I'm slowed. What else? Fire resistance. Alright. Okay, so that's the donkey that I want to breed with my horse. Ah, oh, yes. Oh yeah, mob stuff. What is that? Arrow of slowness? That's not mine. I have to give it to... to her because there's no way that that's mine. Of course, these other arrows aren't mine either, but I need them. So that I can get rid of these dang creepers. Alright. She dropped sugar. Delicious. Okay. So now, we are on track. Hmm. <sighs> Good gracious. It's only taken a thousand years. And a stupid number of absolute fails. Okay. So my horse is this one. Which donkey are you? You have 13 hearts. Okay. You have 13 hearts. Wonderful. So it doesn't matter which donkey we breed with. They both have 13 hearts. So. You... You have babies. Beautiful. It's adorable. I love it. It's fantastic. And then I need to find you some uh, 
Oh, some wheat to help you grow up. Smish, I'm sorry, girl. I'm going to come over and raid your farms. I hope you don't mind. It's a horrible thing. There he is. He is full grown now. After so much wheat. All right. And he loves me. This is wonderful. There. So now he has a saddle and a chest. It's all wonderful. Uh, let me get my leads on both of you guys. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Alright. And that's just my guys. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to ride this one, and we're going to go back into the nether, believe it or not, and try to salvage this horrible, horrible experience. Uh, next time, I will definitely be uh, trying to do the prank, uh, building it up and whatnot. Sorry, buddy. I will feed you and try to get you back up to full health. But yeah, that's all the time that I have for this episode, so if you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description, and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.